The other day I did a live webcast and one of the questions somebody asked, which unfortunately I didn't have time to get to, was uh, what's your favorite dirty joke? So I want to make up for missing that question on the webcast by telling three of my favorite dirty jokes uh, in this video. So, joke number one. So there's this guy and he just got divorced. It was a really messy, heartbreaking kind of situation. His wife cheated on him. So he decides from now on, next time he gets married, he's going to marry a woman who is pure, who's a virgin, who doesn't think about sex, who hasn't been spoiled by other men. So he joins this really conservative church and he starts uh, keeping an eye out for the young ladies in the church and he finds one that he thinks might be a good potential wife and he takes her out to dinner and they have a nice time a nice chat and then uh, they go back to his place and he pulls his zipper down whips it out and he says what's this and she says a cock and he says okay not pure enough so he thanks her very much for the lovely evening he apologizes for showing his cock to her and they part ways and they never really see each other again. Uh, a couple weeks go by, he keeps going to church, uh, he notices another girl that he thinks might have uh, wife potential, same deal, takes her out to dinner, they, they have a, a nice time, takes her back to his place, pulls down his pants, whips it out and he says, what's this? And this girl says, that's your cock. And he's like, damn, I had a feeling about this one, but not pure enough. Sorry. Same deal. Apologies, etc. They go their separate ways. A few weeks go by. He finds a third girl in the congregation he thinks might be wife material. Takes her out to dinner. Takes her back to his place. Pulls his fucking cock out. And he says to her, what's this? And she kind of giggles girlishly. And she goes, that's a pee pee. And he's like, yes. Got one. So they begin this whirlwind courtship and uh, they end up getting married and they're very happy together and they have a pretty good sex life as well and uh, there's just one problem every time the guy gets naked in front of his wife she always will point and giggle and say hey, it's your pee pee and eventually he gets sick of it and he says look darling uh, I mean, one of the reasons I was attracted to you is because of your purity and your innocence, but we, we've been married for like a couple of months now. You don't have to say pee-pee anymore, okay? That's not a pee-pee. That's a cock. And his wife kind of smiles, and she says, No, honey, that's a pee-pee. A cock is black and ten inches long. Joke number two. This drunk fellow is staggering through an alley one night and he trips over this whiskey bottle and when he looks up, lo and behold, from the tip of the bottle has emerged a genie, a real no fool and genie. And the genie says, look, here's the deal. You didn't know I was in here. You didn't rub the bottle to get me to come out. You just tripped over it and I came out. So I don't really feel obligated to give you all three wishes. I will give you one wish, take it or leave it. And the drunk says, well, if I only get one wish, then my wish is to piss whiskey. Every time I take a piss for the rest of my life, I want it to come out whiskey. And the genie says, whatever, dude, you got it. The guy can piss whiskey. He goes home, he, uh, he pisses into a glass, takes a sip. It's the most fucking splendid sip of whiskey he's ever had in his life. It's, he's astonished by it. He convinces his wife that uh, he can piss whiskey. He says, honey, come into the kitchen. Get two glasses down from the cupboard. I want to show you something. And his wife isn't used to these sort of drunken shenanigans, so she just goes along with it. Her spirit has been broken. And uh, she pulls two glasses down from the cupboard, and he pisses into both glasses right in front of her. She watches in horror as he drinks from one, and then he says, honey, it's okay. It's not piss. It's whiskey. I met a genie, blah, blah, blah. Tells her the whole story. For whatever reason, she is convinced, or at least she just doesn't want this to escalate into something worse, so she says, okay, and she kind of takes a very tentative sip, and it's whiskey. 
And the wife has a bit of a taste for uh, the hard stuff herself, and she's like, wow, this is really fucking good, dude. This is really good whiskey. Long story short, totally turns their lives around. Now that this guy is liberated from the necessity of having to pay for all that booze he was drinking, their standard of living just goes through the roof. He gets a promotion at his job, they can buy uh, a better car, they build an addition to their house. I mean, just it totally turns their lives around and makes their marriage happier. Everything is better now that this guy can piss whiskey. And he decides that it's time for them to celebrate. So he uh, calls his wife into the kitchen one evening when after they've, you know, they've just watched a movie and had a lovely dinner and he calls her into the kitchen and he says, honey, let's have a drink to celebrate. So she opens the cupboard, she starts to pull down two glasses and uh, the guy says, whoa, hold on a second, honey. Just one glass this time, tonight. You drink out of the bottle. Joke number three. A man inexperienced in the ways of love goes to a whorehouse to practice eating pussy because he's never done that before. And uh, the lady of the house hooks him up with this beautiful blonde prostitute. They go into a room together and he kneels down in front of her and starts licking her pussy. And after a few seconds, he notices like there's something on his tongue, something in his mouth, and he goes like this. And it's a kernel of corn. It's like a piece of sweet corn. And he's like, well, whatever. I mean, he really doesn't know any better. He's, he's a complete neophyte when it comes to Conalinga. So he just kind of tosses it aside. Goes back to eating pussy. Same thing happens again a minute later. I mean, he's, oh, another piece of corn. What the, you know, he, and, he, and even, even in his naivete, he starts to think this is a little weird. This probably shouldn't happen. But he wants to be polite, even though he's paying for it. He doesn't want to be a jerk about it. So he goes back to eating pussy some more. Same thing happens again a minute later. Another piece of corn comes out of the woman's vagina. He's like, what? What? Okay. He has to say something. He looks up at the prostitute and he says, look, I don't mean to be uh, indelicate or anything, but are you sick? And the prostitute smiles and shakes her head and she says, no, uh, I'm not sick, but the last guy was. Yeah, you know, now that I've actually told you those jokes, they don't really seem quite up to par to me. So here, no extra charge, is a bonus joke. Uh, there's a math teacher in elementary school, and she says to her class, Okay, class, here's the deal. You have three birds sitting on a fence. If I shoot one of the birds with a shotgun, how many birds will I have left on the fence? And she points to a, a boy in, in the class. And uh, he says, well, actually, teacher, it's not a very well-constructed problem. I mean, uh, the sound of the shotgun would cause all three birds to scatter, regardless of whether you hit any of them or not. And plus, depending on how close the birds were sitting to each other and how far away you were shooting from, it's possible that the spread of shotgun pellets would take out more than one bird. Uh, and the teacher says, well, I mean, you're being a little too literal. It was just a subtraction problem dressed up, to be honest. The answer I'm looking for is if you shoot one, there will be two birds left. But I like the way you think. And uh, the boy says, well, thank you, teacher. Uh, thank you very much. And actually, I have a, a similar uh, problem for you. Maybe you could solve this one. There are three women eating ice cream cones. Uh, one of the women is biting her ice cream cone. One of the women is licking her ice cream cone. And one of the women is sucking her ice cream cone. Now, which of those three women is married? And the teacher goes, Jeez, I don't know. It's kind of hard to work out with the information you've given me. Uh, uh, I guess the one who was sucking the ice cream cone is the married one. And the boy says, well, no, actually, the married one is the one with the wedding ring, but I like the way you think. <laughs>